some point, you might see this ye little yellow triangle at the top right hand of your Zotero application. And that means that you've run out of Zotero file storage space. And this is for cloud storage only. If you have, um, are only using one computer uh, for just a personal uh, use, not in group libraries, then you don't need to worry about this. And you can just keep on going. Uh, if you have, uh, if you're if you're in a group library, and um, you see this little yellow icon, then that means you, you'll need to purchase more storage space. And you should note that this little icon and the file storage is only for storing things like MP, uh, M MP4s, PDFs, um, web page snapshots, not for the references themselves. So if you just have these references and not the, the, the files, you're also fine. But if you want to, if you want to have more uh, files in group libraries, then you'll need to purchase more storage space. And you can do that by um, logging into Zotero and then just um, uh, going into clicking upgrade storage at the bottom right and then selecting a plan. And uh, this and this can be used with your group libraries. But there is an, another way without spending money that you can use if you want to use Zotero across multiple of your own devices, um, but don't plan on exceeding the storage limit for group libraries. And that's using the UW um, OneDrive. To use the UW OneDrive, um, if you're on a UW computer uh, from the University of Washington, it'll already appear right here. Uh, I'm on my personal computer, so it has my personal OneDrive instead. Um, uh, if, if, if you um, don't have OneDrive on your personal computer, you can just go ahead and uh, download OneDrive from Microsoft's website. Um, if, if it automatically puts it to your personal OneDrive, what you do is you go to this little cloud icon on the bottom right, right click it, uh, and, it'll, and it'll open up help and settings, and then you just wanna click on settings. And then you wanna go to account, and you want to click add an account, uh, account. And then just type in your University of Washington email address. You may have to sign in. Uh, but it already remembers me. And I can choose a OneDrive folder. And uh, it'll load and set up. And then sync with my OneDrive. And so now... If I go into my file explorer, you can see my UW OneDrive is now connected here on the left. Uh, the next thing you want to do, I'm just deleting these from when I practiced doing this. Uh, what you want to do is you can just go ahead and make a new folder and just call that folder Zotero files or something. And in, inside this Zotero folder is where we're going to store all of the um, all of our PDF documents instead of on the um, on Zotero's cloud, which you have to pay for. And UW's OneDrive, I believe, is five terabytes, so you won't be running out of storage space anytime soon. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to install Zotfile. And Zotfile is an extension for Zotero that lets it uh, work with PDFs better. And I'm just going to go ahead and right click and save the link as and I'm just going to save it in my UW OneDrive by clicking Save. So now that I see it in here, I'm going to go back to Zotero. I'm going to click on Tools, and I'm going to click on Add-ons. And then I'm going to go to this gear in the top right, and then I'm going to install an add-on from a file. And I'm going to look at my UW OneDrive, and I can see this XPI file I downloaded. I'm just going to click it and I'm going to click open. And then I'm going to click install. And you I can see this green check mark that means everything worked and I'm just going to restart Zotero. Now that Zotero is restarted, I can go up to tools and I can click on my zot file preferences. And then I want to go over down here to the second box, location of files. I want to choose a custom location. 
and I just want to use that Zotero folder I just made. And so now I select that folder. And next I need to go to Edit. And then I just need to go to Preferences. And click on Advanced. And then click on Files and Folders. And then I want to change the Linked Attachment Base Directory. And I click Choose. And I'm just going to also set that to the exact same folder, my OneDrive Zotero. It'll pop, something will pop up that says, if you already have linked attachments, that um, they're now going to be saved using relative paths, and yes, that's what I want. If you don't have any linked attachments already, that box won't appear. And then I'm just going to click OK. And so now, uh, I can go ahead and see my library here with all my PDFs and stuff. I can click Control A, uh, or just select everything, and then right click. I want to click Manage Attachments, and then I want to click Rename Attachments, and this and this will um, have a uh, zop file. Go ahead and move all your um, PDFs to your OneDrive, and it asks if you want to move and rename all four. I want to click OK, and on the bottom right, you can see that it's slowly working through all the files and renaming and moving them, and you can tell that it worked because now instead of storing them on Zotero, they have this little gray uh, link icon, which means they're linked. And if I open up my OneDrive folder, you can, and click inside, you can see that they are all in there. And uh, they're all synced except the large video file, which is taking a little bit more time. If I go ahead and click one of these, I can open it up as normal, I can highlight it if I want, say there's a part that's important, and then I can close and save it back in its same folder. And that'll be and that'll still be shared across your devices. If you're using Zotero on uh, another device, you just want to go ahead and do the same thing. You want to go to um, you want to add the UW OneDrive. You want you want to um, make um, uh, since it's your UW OneDrive, the Zotero folder will already be in there, and then you just want to go to your uh, install zop file and go to your zop file preferences, stored location, edit preferences, advanced files and folders, base directory, and that will save all your um, uh, files here. And again, uh, this only works for um, um, your the, your my library it won't work for group libraries so if you need extra space for group libraries um, storing PDFs then unfortunately there's not much you can do without uh, purchasing extra storage space um, however um, for my group libraries you can see that it's still um, uh, stores them and I can sync and it doesn't affect them at all um, Lastly uh, um, if I have like a new article I might need to sign in again, but If I want to cite a new article I can click this Zotero Icon in the top right and I want to save it to the libraries and click done and If I go back to Zotero you can see that it automatically turns it into a link so that I don't have to. Um, you can see it, the snapshot it made didn't turn into a link. In that case, I can just rename the attachments and it'll make turn it into a link over here. And so if I open it, it still has the snapshot of the page. And uh, yeah, that should be everything. If you have any questions, you can uh, book a consultation at the UW Libraries Research Commons, which I will leave a, a link for in the description. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.